Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created these multicolored stripes. My nails need a little extra care right now, so I'm using OPI Nail Envy as my base coat. And these are the colors I'll be using for my manicure. I have Essie Licorice, Essie Blanc, and colors from the Essie Spring 2016 collection, Shades On, High Class Affair, Sunshine State of Mind, and Essie Poolside Service. And the green Essie Poolside Service is the polish that I'm featuring in this video. It's one of my favorite spring polishes. I picked 10 and I'll have a link down below to my video where I mention all the 10 and I'm doing a nail polish design for each one and this is the one I'm doing for poolside service. So I did two coats of SE poolside service on all my nails except for the ones that I did the stripes and on the ones that I did the stripes I did one coat of this SE Mademoiselle and then after I did that I did a top coat, a fast dry top coat on all my nails and made sure that it was completely dry. Once it has completely dried, I'm going to take these skinny straight and regular straight nail vinyls from What's Up Nails and place them where I want on my fingernail. I placed the first one a little further down from the tip of my nail. I know later on I'm going to come in and do white on the top, but I want to have a couple on the top and I'm just going to make sure to do one underneath these. And then I knew I wanted a little more space for the next stripe, so I'm going to use this bigger one. And you'll notice later on in the video that I actually ended up moving this one up just a little bit higher to the tip of the nail because I had it a little too low. And then a skinnier with leaving a little space for a stripe in between each of those. And then I'm going to evenly space out the others towards the base of the nail. Before I laid these down, I knew what colors I wanted where and how big I wanted the line. So that makes it a little bit easier when you have maybe a picture to look at or something that you have written down so you can see. So once I have all those on, I'm going to come in with my high class affair. And I actually separated those a little bit because I wanted that color on the top. And I'm going to paint that stripe. And as soon as I'm finishing that stripe and made sure that it's completely filled in, I'm going to go ahead and take those nail vinyls right off. And then I'm going to come in with Essie Blanc and I'm actually going to paint two lines because I want two white lines next to each other. And you just want to work fairly quickly because these nail polishes tend to dry fast and they dried really fast under my hot lights. You also want to make sure that your nail vinyls are pressed completely down in the edges so that polish doesn't get underneath. And once you're finished filling that in with the Essie Blanc, you want to go ahead and take off the top and the middle and leaving the bottom one because you want to use that as the edge of your next stripe. So then I come in with Essie Sunshine State of Mind and I'm going to pull both those stickers off once that I'm finished with that stripe. And you'll see that I let that dry and then I came back in and did a small stripe of white on top. I just think it looks better when you have white on top. And then once I knew those were dry, I put the nail vinyls for the next stripe that I wanted underneath High Class Affair. And I know that I wanted black and so I'll paint that in and then once I'm finished with that, I'm going to pull both those vinyls off. So this just takes a little time. You let the, some of the stripes dry before you go in and put more nail vinyls on and you just carefully put the next ones on. So I added another one back to the base of the orange because I probably should have left that. And now I'm going to add SE shades on. And that will be my last stripe at the base of the nail. So I'm just going to pull both those nail vinyls off when I'm finished with that. Okay, so once again, I'm going to let that dry probably for about 10 minutes. And then I want another stripe right against that black stripe but spaced away from the white stripe so I'm just going to put this nail vinyl on one edge while carefully painting on my green color and trying not to cover up the black but get a nice line as nice and crisp as you can and then take the nail vinyl off and that's it I did the other one a little different and I think I like that look where the stripes are different on each nail now this took a little time and that's okay. You can freehand it if you want. I actually did try freehanding it, but I did not like the way it turned out. It wasn't straight enough for me. So I decided to go in and use the stickers, even though I knew that would take a little more time. But I love the way that it turned out and I hope you guys liked it too. And once that has completely dried, you wanna go ahead with your favorite fast dry top coat. I use HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. And if it's completely dry, it won't streak, but it will if you don't let it dry completely. So make sure that you do that and I love this. I hope you guys liked it too. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. We'll see ya.